what, what instead of passion? Favorite soap opera, passions. Oh my. Best soap opera all time. You're lying. Passions, Lindsay Hartley. No. Austin. Damn it, I don't mind. That's no way you got it a fucking really Why? I have Big Brother on the other side of the ankle. Why is it so hard to believe? It's so hard to believe. I'm out of my fucking mind, guys. I do shit okay, like that. Okay, for real? For honor of serious? No, it's from a soap opera. It's symbolic of a lot of things. Is it really from a soap opera, though? The, lo the tattoo is the writing from the soap opera, yes. <laughs> it's the writing from the soap opera. It's the writing opera. from the soap opera. You oh are my, my fire, my passion for life. Oh, my God. <laughs> Austin. You are you are really out of your fucking mind. I know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm out of my mind. Soap operas is insane. I know. It, that's what I was going for. It's called postmodernism. You do shit like that. Oh. What's oh. the one that Camila? Oh. Um, no, Gabrielle <laughs> Bannis is on. Who? No, Days Camila. Of our lives. Days of our lives. You, you know, know her or something? Yeah. yeah. How do you know her? How do you know her? Well, I, I watched Days of Our Lives. I used to. I haven't watched it in a while. Her name is mm -hmm. um, Camila, Camila Bannis. Oh boy. How do you know her? She went to uh, middle school. Really? Mm -hmm. That's cool. She's from Miami. Wow. Liz was in um, our class with her, I mean, drama class with her sister, but we always knew Camila because she was like so beautiful, like perfect. Such a good voice. Well, she landed a big role on that show. She did. She's fucking killing it. You know what we're talking about? Gabby on Days of Our Lives. Yeah. Yeah. She's huge. Like she, she fucking made it. Mm -hmm. What does she look like? She's brown a, hair. She's like looks from like she's a Latin descent. Mexican. She yeah. Looks, yeah. Um, she That's plays name, a La Latina role on the show. Yeah. Um, she's amazing. Yeah. You know who dated her, Liz? That who? was for her first. Well, no. El. No, Pop. Oh. Because uh, I know she her. plays, like, she's the sister of Galen Gehring, who plays Raphael or Rafe or something on the show. Mm-hmm. Galen Gehring was on Passions. He's one of my favorite actors of all time. Yeah. One time he came in the bar I was working at during, like, the Laker final. I was all freaking out. Oh, my God, stop. Did you, like, go up to him and be like, I'm a super fan? No, I only have done that to one person. That's Liam on The Well and the Beautiful. I got his picture. We took a picture together, and I sent it to my family, and they all flipped out. Oh my God! Why? When well, he went to a bar, the year bartending. He out? went to a no. He was at a restaurant in uh, in North Hollywood, Studio City ish. Who did you get the restaurant with? My ex girlfriend. Oh <gasps> my God! She lives out here. Did she take the picture? Yes. <gasps> she didn't understand what the hell I was doing, but she took it, and I sent it to my family immediately. Oh. And then that was the topic of conversation for the next month with my family. <laughs> was he nice? My mom doesn't miss that show ever. Like, it's a serious deal. When Bold and Beautiful's on, you cannot talk. And my dad always comes home from wherever he is <laughs> at 12.30 when my mom's sitting down to watch the show and she gets so pissed at him. And he's like, you can't interrupt that. And he's like making a salad in the kitchen. She's chopping up things real loud. Yeah, yeah. She gets mad at She's like, stop chopping. Then he's eating the salad and you can hear the fork clanking on the damn bowl. Yeah. And then he starts asking questions like, who's that on the show? And he's like, drop And then your it. mom's like, stop it, G-Man. 12.30 to 1, no talking allowed in the house. No talking. No phone calls, no talking. Oh, so it's only 30 minutes? Yeah, Bone Beautiful is 30. Everything else is an hour and soap, but Bone Beautiful has been 30 minutes. So it's fast paced, you can't mess around. Yeah. Storylines are changing all the time. Who yeah. knows what's going on right now? Liam might be back with Hope. Hope might be back on the show. I don't know. I'm in here. <laughs> so are you going to catch up on every Bold and the Beautiful? I'm not going to catch up. I'll just find out what happened, obviously. Yeah. Hopefully, I can find out from the cast themselves. Oh. Oh, my yeah. That's funny that um, Big Brother cast go on the Bold and the Beautiful. Liam, hug me up. Liam, you met Austin. Do you remember? He remembers. We were. He was Googling my wrestling shit. Really? Yeah, we were sitting there for a while talking. Because we, we were talking about the similarities between soap operas and wrestling. It's very similar. Um, there's a lot of elements that kind of Did play. you tell him you were a wrestler? Yeah, he was asking me all about like my, my wrestling and stuff. And but how like, did he know you, you told him? Like, can you be like, uh, oh, I don't I know. We were talking. We just after I took a picture, he was so surprised that someone like me wanted to take a picture with him. And then I was talking about, like, you know, uh, what I do. He asked me what I do and I stuff, and I told him. And he was like, "That's so cool." And he Googled me right there when he was sitting there with his friend. Oh my god! So you're on Google? Well, we all are on Google. Yeah, yeah. but before this, you're on Google. Well, yeah, it was in WWE. Like, do you come up on like WWE.com? I used to. I was. I had a bio on there until I left the company. 
Now I don't have a bio on there anymore. But you weren't on like Wikipedia before this. Um, yeah, I was as, uh, for my wrestling as Austin Draven, then Judas Devlin, then Judas Draven, I guess. I'm sure. I don't mm -hmm. know. I never Wikipedia myself. Why? Price says I have a catastrophic back injury and had to retire from wrestling. <laughs> Something that's not true. Really? No it one knew. It? No one knew what was wrong with me because I never tweet that much. Right. So like when I disappeared, no one knew. They all thought that I had some kind of crazy injury. Yeah. And it was reported that I had a major spinal injury, but it was like other people had spinal injuries and that I got lumped in with them. But it wasn't catastrophic. No, it was just hip surgery. It was routine hip surgery. I'm fine. But they didn't know that. Like the fans were like, oh my God, Judas is dead. Oh my God. It was like a big thing on the internet. It was so funny. And I just, I would just like write out maybe once in a while a cryptic tweet or something. Oh my to God. To freak them out. That's really funny. That's fucked up though. It was funny because like these nerd fans, they would do like, articles on like Huffington Post and shit going, Judas is going to appear at the Survivor Series with the Bray Wyatt team. I'm like, all I did is tweet out something similar to what Bray Wyatt, this wrestler, would say and they thought, oh my God, he's coming back and they wrote this huge article about me returning. You got a fucking article written about you in the Huffington Post? I think it was Huffington. One of those. Damn. Or what's another one of those news sources online that people go to? Um, I'm sure I've had some in the USA Huffington. USA Today. I was in Washington Post. For what? For like a um, human resources issue with WWE. Ooh, yeah, like because they drop serious, you? You told serious me Serious business. This. Are you not allowed to talk about it? No. Why? It's in the, if I wanted to, I could go on. Yeah, you, I mean, yeah, you could go on there. It was an article. It's a long story. It's a long story about a coach and bullshit and. Oh, was, like about like favoritism and. Nah, it was more about injuries and stuff and. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was about a lot of things, but. I, I mean, it's all over now yeah i think i don't even know why i got involved in that shit i'm trying to think what happened again i totally forgot were you like a source in the article or like you gave i was the article oh yeah oh i'm gonna go research that when i leave oh, here yeah it might have been talked about by like julie chen and shit it was kind of big news i want to hear can you tell me like when we after this yeah of course all i know is that i have no problem with wwe in fact i think they're an amazing company and they can clearly see that I am healthy and able to entertain and perform. Yes. And there's no reason why we can't have a, an agreeable relationship after the show. Yes. Good. Well Thank said. You know. Very well said. Exactly. That's your press you statement. Can't beat them, join them. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Again. Hey, were you thinking about having seconds of Chinese? I can't even think about no, that. No, I would have to be healthy. I'm thinking about having... We didn't even get white rice. You guys really just fucked up. I want cookies. Ew. Treats? 